The Nomad range wouldn't be complete without a sinking stick bait. And the Mad Scad comes in a variety of sizes and works really well on a huge range of species. Now, if there was one lure that I had to take to catch the most variety of species anywhere out in the ocean, it'd be a Mad Scad 115. This lure will catch anything from big GTs to you know, salmon, tailor, kingfish, all sorts of trevally, mackerel, tuna, fantastic for long tail tuna. That size is 40 grams, casts like a bullet, and an extremely versatile lure, very, very easy to use. Now the Mad Scad comes in, as I said, a 115. There's a larger 150 mil prototype that we're working on at the moment, that's why we haven't got any color on this one, and 190 mil. Now they come in a variety of different weights and sizes to suit all sorts of species. So, as I said, the casting distance from the Mad Scad 115, fantastic. Match it up to a 30, 40 pound spin rod, you can cast this for miles. Now we're gonna work through just how to work these lures to get the best action. There's a couple of ways you can work them. It's fairly simple and they're very easy. They don't take a lot of effort. So we'll just cast out this big guy, the 190 mil. Now this is a 140 gram lure, this guy. It's very easy to work. Literally just let him sink big long sweep of the rod and it gets a real swimming action. You can just feel it sort of beating through the rod so you know that it's swimming. Now that's one retrieve. The other way you can do this is you can do a twitchier sort of a retrieve like a, now this is a sinking lure obviously so it's not going to do a walk the dog thing on the surface but you can just do a little you know twitch twitch and the lure will just dart around down there it just kind of darts from side to side, looks like a wounded bait fish. It's extremely effective. Now, with the larger lures, all of them in fact can be trolled, but the 160 gram version of the Mad Scad, uh, 190 mil, can be trolled at up to 16 knots. We were trolling it around out here the other day for yellowfin tuna. So, you know, if you're moving between spots, even when you're reef fishing, very, very versatile lure, drop it out the back. Trolls along very fast. The tuna and wahoo absolutely love it. So the reason you'd have a Mad Scout in your tackle box is they come in a great range of colors. They've got that really injured, sort of fluttering, dying bait fish imitation. When you give them that sort of twitchy retrieve, they just look like they're a dying bait fish in distress and the fish just can't resist coming to eat them. Now, they also, being a sinking lure, you can let these guys sink down. They sink quite fast, some of them. You can give them a little twitch as they're sinking the fish will come up and eat them. So it doesn't matter what species you're chasing, whether it's down in the southern parts of Australia, right up north for bigger pelagics, there's a mad scout in the range that's gonna be perfect for whatever conditions you encounter.